What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Just going to be discussing in this video everything that we've gotten data mined from the PTS currently on the patch uh, for the Calamity uh, data mining. So, going to be a, a number of new things. If you guys do not want spoilers, please click off the video. Don't go in the comments bitching that you got spoiled. So, giving you guys time to click off the video right now. If not, if you guys are here for data mining and for leaks on next patches for Paladins, then stay tuned to the rest of the video. Uh, there's a few things that I'm going to be talking about. You guys seem to like these types of videos, and we recently just hit 400 subs, so I 100% love you guys. Thanks for support recently. Really appreciate it. If you guys want me to continue doing these data mining discussion type videos, every time we got a new data mining for each PTS update, let me know by leaving a like, subscribing if you are new, and sharing the video really helps me out. Uh, now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, at least for this data mine, there's not really as much stuff as I would normally think there would be. The main thing is, um, there's actually a new champion data mine. We actually got a name for the champion now, before it was called the Commander, as you guys probably know. Uh, now we actually got a name, which is called Octavia. Here's the, uh, I don't know, I think this is like a rough work in progress type of, like, uh, avatar type picture for for the champion like i don't think it's going to be this low quality like low poly like that has to be a work in progress i don't know how if it would be that bad but um there's a video here i'm not gonna go on the actual video because there really isn't that much pretty much what what it is i was actually hoping octavia would be something like ana guys if you guys play overwatch ana is a, is a support with a bionic rifle like a sniper type rifle um that can hit, hit across the map same thing as like what Kness or Strix has, um, just a little bit more of like a slower fire rate, I guess. But I was hoping Octavia, at least for this next champion, would be a support that was actually able to use to heal people with a uh, with a sniper rifle. It does not look like she's going to be a support champion, unfortunately. Don't get me wrong; she looks like she can actually heal in one part of her kit. But it, she does not look like a support. She looks like she's going to be a damage champion, which I'm fine with. But I just rather wanted a support champion. But I wanted a type of Ana in Paladins, like their own spin on Ana. I think this would have been a great champion to have as a support, like being able to shoot people just with your sniper rifle and healing them with your sniper rifle. I don't know. Like everything about her screams support, but some reason I think that it, she's going to be a damage champion. I don't know. I don't see him healing anything in this uh, in this leaked gameplay either, like this data mine. Uh, pretty much what she has, she has a LMB. It's a pre a medium type sniper rifle, I guess. That it's it has a higher fire rate, but it, do, it does a lot less damage than snipers like Strix and Knessa, but it has a higher fire rate. So headshots are six seventy six, body shots are four fifty one with the scope. Um, pretty much. Then she had her. Uh, I'm not 100 sure what these the the keys actually relate to on console because I only play on console. But her Q pretty much is a if champions are visible, plus 25 health per tick. So it's pretty much like an old sky smoke. It's really what it is. Like as you guys can see here, it's a really high, like fire rate, at least for like a sniper type rifle or like a bionic rifle. I'm not going to say it's really been a bionic rifle because they can't heal, but uh, her movement is just pretty much like a big ass jump. Okay. It's on a six second cooldown. I don't know if that's going to be different when it goes for the next patch, whenever that is. Like I'm assuming right now, guys, we, we're, this next patch, we're getting Viagareth, which is, isn't even in the game yet. So we won't be getting Octavia for another two patches, if the, if everything goes correctly. So we'll be getting, after the Diagrath patch, we'll probably be getting like an event pass and a new in-game limited time mode. That's what I'm assuming we're going to be getting. After that, that's when we get the new champion. So I'm assuming around about two months from now is probably when we'll be getting Octavia. Don't get me wrong, a lot can change. They can change a lot of stuff, but usually when they have it already in the game, with, uh, to this extent, they really ain't going to change much. She also has things where she can actually uh, hop up in the air and she's able to hold, I think, 
I think it's able to, I think it's the jump button. And you can actually hold the jump button and you can actually stand in air and float in air and shoot your weapon, which is really, really, really cool. Similar to like Androxus, but you're, you're not floating, you're kind of more stationary. You're, you move a tiny bit, but you're relatively stationary in, in air. So I can see a lot of people doing, getting really good at combos with that. Like, um, Hovers in the air, yeah, whatever. And then her ultimate is actually an air strike, which it, it really reminds me of a barrage. What this really is, is it's, it's, it's just a barrage, like in a straight line. Don't get me wrong, it, it looks cool, but I, it's kind of lazy in my honest opinion, because what they're doing is just taking recycled assets that are already in the game and applying it to another champion, just like what they did to Fora. Kind of lazy in my honest opinion. Hopefully they change it and make it look way different, or change it somehow to where it doesn't look like fucking Victor Barrage. Because right now, it, lo it le legit looks like Victor's Barrage, but just in a line. It looks like it hits around about 5 or 6 times for 1400. That might actually be need to be damaged. The damage on that might need to be actually tuned back because 1400 per pallet. I don't know, kind of broken if it's going to be hitting 6 times. Apart from that, not really much else to talk about. We got some new skins, guys. You guys are going to I know I'm going to rant on these. Like, why are we going to be getting another Ying skin? Now, this is going to be probably the patch. These skins will be coming out after the Yagarath patch. So, after this Yagarath patch, when we get the new champion released live into the game, we're going to be getting a new thing called Event Passes. Battle Passes will no longer be a thing. They've already confirmed it for some reason. Um, we have literally no details on what the Event Pass details or what it's going to have. Apart from having at least like four skins, just like the Battle Pass. What we're going to be getting, we're going to be getting a, a digitized skin. So I'm assuming this is like some, I don't know, similar to like the uh, the Pixel Battle Pass when we had Bomb King and Nara, like Battle Bite, I think of what, what it was called. I'm assuming it's going to be like that, but just like a high tech type version. I don't know. Rom, I'm okay. I'm fine with Rom having a skin. Rom has, just got Krampus skin, but he's a new champion. He has does not have many skins. I'm fine with a Rom skin. Androx is okay. This year's where I, I kind of got pissed because Androx is, has quite a few skins now. Like I don't know if you guys know, but didn't you guys watch the, the high res showcase like I did? Didn't they say that they're going to be giving champions that are less popular? or that have not had skins in forever, or have less skins, those type of champions skins this year, and they're going to push back the champions that have a thousand skins to like a different year and wait for those. Because right now, the, the, I'm pretty much seeing is what they fucking lied to us. Don't get me wrong, Rom and Amani are great choices to have skins because they barely have any skins. Androx is okay, I'm fine. Compared to a lot of the other options, I'm fine with Androx. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll pilot that one past. But they're over here giving Ying another fucking skin. Ying has about a thousand fucking skins already, guys. Like, I don't know. How many skins... Can somebody please go in-game and tell me how many fucking skins Ying has? Like, even with recolors, it's, it's a fucking insane amount. Like, I usually don't, re like, count recolors, but even with the recolors, it's fucking insane. Like, I can count five of them off the top of my head. I think there's more than that because I really don't even play Ying that much. Horv is going to be getting a new em emote. Witness me. I'm assuming that's going to be included inside the, the event type pass. Whatever the event type pass is, I don't know what it is, but we have four skins, which is the same thing as like a battle pass. I'm assuming they're all going to have recolors as well. Knowing high res, they're going to take the easy route out. Instead of having to put another mount or something else into the game, they're going to take the easy route and give us more shitty recolors. I really wish they would move away from the recolors. I really do, but it, it's just it just makes them seem so lazy. Like I half the recolors I don't even use. It's just extra shit put into the game because just for put into the game just because they can. Like I half the people don't even use the recolors, guys. If you if you do use the recolors from the battle passes or this coming up event pass, let me know in the comments down below. How many of you guys actually do use recolors? I think the only recolors I somewhat use are from the, the Star Sisters Battle Pass. Apart from that, the majority of the other 
recolors we do have from a, like a lot of the past battle passes over the past year, year and a half, I usually don't even use. Maybe I'll swap out the weapons once in a while, but apart from that, the majority of the time I'm going to be using the gold weapon anyways, so I don't know. Just sick of Ying getting skins. Apart from that, I'm fine with these three skins, Rom, Andro, and Imani, but I'm fucking sick of Ying skins. If they were going to give us a new skin, why not give us a fucking Mave skin? Just go all out and just piss everybody off and give us another Mave skin. I, I'd rather be fine with a Mave skin for something I actually play than a fucking Ying skin, which I haven't played in forever. I barely ever play. I'd even be fine with another Saris skin because I've been playing that shit out of Saris. I'd rather have a Saris skin over a, an Imani skin. Or uh, not an Imani, a Ying skin. Miscellaneous, Goddesses, I don't even know what this stuff is like entails. Salty, I don't know what that means. Paladin's third birthday, which I'm assuming is going to be like an in-game mini type event. Goddesses, I don't know what that means. Are they going to have different type of goddess type skins? I don't know. They're going to have some new... I'm assuming these are like season passes or like bundles. Starter, gold, and deluxe edition. I don't know what that's going to really entail. Is this going to be something like an event pass where you can buy like a pass and get automatic um, shit like the, just from buying it and buying one of these tiers of, of a pass? Or are we able to just buy a pass for a flat amount of crystals each time they, they're released? I don't know. Whatever. Voice packs. We got the Lee Agrath voice pack. I'm not going to talk about it or go over it in this video because you guys will see it in game once it gets released here in about two weeks. Um... Reserve Torvald. I don't know who gives a shit about Torvald. I sure don't. But that's all we really have, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Everything about Octavia. The newest. I'm assuming this is Damage Champion. At least from what it, it looks like. And then uh, what do you guys think of the next round of skins for the event type pass? For the next patch after the Agrith patch drops. Apart from that, hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in a future video. Thanks for stopping by. Leave a like, share the video, subscribe if you are new. And thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. Really appreciate it, guys. Do apologize for the lack of upload, uploads, at least this week and probably going into this next week. Just have not have time to really upload at all, guys. I really apologize, but I was able to get a triple upload for you guys last week. If you guys missed the tier list for Eternal Pyre, that's on the channel right now. You guys completely blew the support out of the water. I absolutely fucking thank you guys for that. Apart from that, I'm done ranting. See you guys in a future video. Thank you.